QA Pilot videos are powered by Virtual Fly. Hello there, friends and followers, and welcome to this Navigraph Cloud Maps video. Navigraph Cloud Maps new version is currently in beta, but the release is imminent, and so I thought I'd take this opportunity to showcase its brand new features. In this video, I'm going to be providing you with an overview of the new features available in Navigraph Cloud Charts. We are going to be creating a couple of flight plans using different options available in the software and we will conclude the video with a short takeoff from Kuwait International Airport to showcase the moving maps. The user interface of Navigraph Cloud Charts has been revamped to be more user friendly. Let's take a quick overview. You are able to search for your airports, VOR stations, airways and the like from this box here. You are able to add those airports and charts to your favorites. You can create a flight by clicking on the flights option here. You can either create a new flight or select one that you have already created. You have the ability now to sort by date or by name. New map overlays are now also available in Navigraph Cloud Charts by clicking here. You can toggle between the high in route, low in route or the world map. Once you have the moving map plugin installed for either X-Plane or P3D, clicking on this button will simply bring the plane on the map. Last but not least, opening the account settings menu will show the signed in user as well as the settings menu and the ability to sign out. The settings menu will give you the ability to toggle the chart mode between airline and IFR as well as enter your SimBrief username for SimBrief integration. Navigraph Cloud Charts offers new levels of interactivity with the respective maps. For example, if you left click your mouse button on any item on the map, you will receive information on that specific item. For example, if we click here, uh, that is a left click on the VOR station, we will receive the VOR station name as well as all the details. You also have the ability to add this specific VOR station to your route. If for example you click on this holding pattern here, you will receive information on that specific holding pattern, the minimum altitude, maximum altitude, holding speed, leg time, inbound holding course and so on and so forth. Right clicking your mouse anywhere on the map will provide you with specific information on a specific radius. For example, this radius contains all these search results. By clicking on any segment or airway in Navigraph Cloud Charts, you are able to receive information on that specific segment. For example, in this segment, Bravo 417, we have the fixes from Kuwait VOR to Alvex. The distance is 24 nautical miles. You have the minimum and the maximum altitudes for this segment. By clicking on the Fixes tab here, you will receive information on the two fixes in this segment. It is time for us now to dig a little deeper and take a look at more features available in Navigraph Cloud Charts. We're going to head over to the search box here and select Oscar Kilo Bravo Kilo, which is Kuwait International Airport. As you can see here, we have uh, Kuwait International as the first result, and by clicking on a search result, you will receive the information card over here. As you can see, we have the general information, available runways at the airport, as well as the communication frequencies. You also have the option of adding this airport to a new flight. By clicking on the charts icon here, you will have access to all the available charts at Kuwait International. You can further cycle through the available charts for approach, taxi, SIDS and the reference by clicking on the reference tabs here. One of the brilliant features in the new Navigraph Cloud Charts is the ability to do chart overlay on the in-route map. For example, if we click here, as you can see now we have the chart overlaid on the actual map. You can decrease the opacity or increase the opacity and you can pin the chart if you like and you can of course display in windowed mode which of course will take you to the actual chart. One of the nice features in Navigraph Cloud Charts is the ability to show a visual overview of the selected tab. For example, if we click on the SIDS here and click on Show Visual Overview, as you can see now, we have a visual overview of all the available SIDS 
at Kuwait International, as well as an overview of all the departing runways. This is a particularly useful feature. This works for all other tabs as well. So if we click on the stars here and click on show visual overview, you will receive an overview of all the available stars at the selected airport. And again, you can select the runway of choice. Let us now create a flight plan using Navigraph cloud charts. We're going to click on flights and select new flight. We're going to choose manual input. Origin airport is Oscar Kilo Bravo Kilo. That's Kuwait International. Destination airport is Dubai International, which is Oscar Mike Delta Bravo. And we're going to use the auto generate my route. And we're going to click on create. As you can see now, we have a route from Kuwait International to Dubai International. We're going to head over here to Kuwait and we're going to select the departures. We're going to select the Boxy 3 Echo departure. And by the way, here we can click again on the visuals. And as you can see, this is the um, SID that we've uh, selected, which is the Boxy 3. And we can show now the overlay chart as well. And we can reduce the opacity a little bit. There we go. As you can see, very, very useful. Uh, you can actually visualize the actual um, SID out of, out of Kuwait now. And we're going to select the runway. We're going to select runway 15 left for departure. There we go. So we are done with this part of the flight now. And we can now head over to uh, Dubai and we'll select the arrivals. We're going to select the VOT3 Echo right here at Dubai and we can select the approach we're going to use the ILS runway 12 left and with the RERAC transition we're going to select this here and as you can see now we have the full, full, uh, full flight plan and again we can do the same thing here for the departure so we have all the available we have a visual representation now and by the way you can click here on show, show waypoint labels right here uh, that's Kuwait so let's head over here and go to Kuwait and show waypoint labels as you can see now we have the waypoint labels here and you can do the same thing at uh, Dubai International and we can select show the waypoints as you can see now we have all the waypoints that's the holding pattern there for uh, this specific approach uh, again very very useful uh, you can definitely add alternate airports. Currently there is uh, none, uh, but we can edit this and we can select an alternate airport and select, for example, um, OTHH, which is the um, Hammond International Airport in Qatar and say save. And now we have the alternate airport as well. So this is pretty much how you create a new flight plan in Navigraph uh, charts. And uh, as you can see, it's quite simple, uh, very visual. Everything is color coded. And now you can actually find out more information about each segment, uh, similar to what we've done in the beginning of the video, where you can actually see uh, the distance uh, for each segment in your flight. What's also cool is you can actually click on the route here uh, and get information on those specific fixes, airways, uh, sends and stars, so if we click on this specific fix here or waypoint, uh, as you can see now, we have the coordinates, we have the type, the level, um, as well as the magnetic variation. You can add this to your flight plan if you wish or remove it. And you can do the same thing for all the respective um, uh, waypoints uh, in, in your flight plan. By clicking on the uh, SID or star again, it will be highlighted. And you can also click again to show the chart overlay, which is really, really cool um, because it really makes things very um, easy, especially if you're flying, uh, let's say, on a, uh, a 727 or one of those classic aircraft. You can visually see what's happening uh, here on the map. And with the moving map feature, um, I think this is by far the very best charts program available for flight simulation enthusiasts. 
Uh, and again, of course, you can do lots of things here. You can pin it uh, if you like. You can pin your uh, star and sit plates um, throughout the flight and just keep them there and watch what happens throughout your flight. Uh, very, very nice uh, features in this new version. All right, let us now try to load a flight from SimBrief. Uh, now with SimBrief, we're gonna click on new flight. With SimBrief, you will receive the last available uh, flight that you've saved in SimBrief. So we're gonna click on SimBrief, uh, use the latest SimBrief. Uh, I don't think, perhaps there is another option, uh, but uh, in this beta, you can only use the latest SimBrief uh, operational flight plan. So we're gonna click on, uh, this is London Heathrow to John F. Kennedy Airport. And as you can see now, the route has been loaded. A brilliant integration really with, uh, with SimBrief. And now you have all the available features that we've discussed throughout the course of this video. For example, we could go to uh, London Heathrow. And uh, we're gonna go to the specific, this is our departure. We can select the waypoint labels. And now you can visually see what's going on as you depart uh, London Heathrow. Uh, again, you can change the runways if you wish, and you can do similar things to uh, your destination. We're gonna click, for example, on the arrival. This is our arrival into uh, John F. Kennedy. Um, and there are no, we can actually, oh, there is a runway selected. We can select, for example, a different runway, and it will automatically show here on your flight plan. I have now loaded the original flight plan that we've created uh, from Kuwait International to Dubai International. We're gonna head over to the runway. The selected runway is 15 left. So we're gonna head over to runway 15 left and depart Kuwait International so that I can show you the moving maps right here on Navigraph Cloud Charts. We are now situated at runway 15 left, Kuwait International Airport, and I do want to show you guys the moving map, so we're going to head over to Navigraph Cloud Charts again here. As you can see now, we have the overlay of the map here, and this is our departure. Uh, we are departing through the Boxic 3 Echo, uh, SID from Kuwait, runway 15 left, it says climb on 152 track to at uh, or above 1000. And then it's 114 degrees track to Boxic, then as directed by ATC. Okay, let's head over back here and make sure that we have the heading box set to 152 degrees. And we're gonna make a left turn uh, after departure. Okay, let's release the parking brake and let's go. Pause the brake, gears going up. And now we're going to begin the turn to 114 degrees. And as you can see now, we are uh, on our way to Boxic, and we can see. Uh, our progress here on the map. Well, folks, this pretty much brings us to the conclusion of our video today. I hope that this was a useful and insightful video on Navigraph Cloud Charts. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.